Well, today we have a special adventure. We're gonna see if we can get on one of these buses and find our way back to Tamil. Hello, brother. Do you know Do you know where I can find a bus bus to Tamil? Tamil. Tamil bus. Sorry. No bus. Which bus uh, gets we can close? Take a taxi. 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 Oh, okay. There's no bus that gets no, me no, close. No bus. Okay. Taxi. Only taxi. Taxi. Thank you. Daniyavad. Well, guys, that changes that. Looks like we we're not getting on one of those buses right now. We'll have to, uh, maybe we'll get on one of these buses and see where it leads us to. That sounds like a bit of an adventure. Oh, and we made it. And, all right, eat, sleep, sh I like his shirt. <laughs> now let's see if we can find ourselves a uh, bus to hop on. Probably whatever one comes next, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get on and uh, we'll slowly see how many buses it's gonna take us to get back since the uh, guy at the beginning told us there is uh, no bus that gets us straight back to Tamil, but we can at least find one that gets us close enough. Maybe we can get on this one. Can we get on this one? Tamil? No. I'll get on this one. Can I get on? Uh, just a little closer to Tamil? Uh, this way, yeah. Five minutes? How much? Sabir. How much? Thank you, brother. Don't need Namaste. Namaste. Alright guys, we have made it on a bus. Not sure where we're going, but uh, we're gonna go for a little cruise around here. Uh, Alright, so this is a uh, a local's bus around here. Yeah, pretty comfortable seating. We got the window seat right here. And uh, uh excuse me, where does the where does this bus go? Do uh, you speak English? Uh, where does the bus go? Alangi. Alangi. Is that near Tamil? Yes. Near? Oh perfect. Daniabad. Alright guys, we got lucky. We hopped on the right bus then. I was trying to find a bus that'll at least get us close enough to Tamil so I don't have to do the hour and uh, 20 minute ride. So basically 20 rupees to ride the bus is 15.3 uh, cents so 15 cents for us to get back probably a taxi would have been like three or four dollars but i like doing the local transportation oh we got someone banging on the bus right over here oh i think that's the guy basically saying uh signaling the bus driver when to go when to not oh and he's back on See if we can figure out how the hand signals work. So basically on these buses there's a uh, driver and then there's a guy who I think is, I'm guessing in the local language he's yelling uh, the direction of where this bus is going since there's not like, uh, there's one sign right on the front of the bus and probably on the side but I don't actually know if those are advertisements or if those are uh, the destination of the bus. My guess is those might be advertisements still. So we're gonna be cruising on this one and uh, see where we end up. Right, careful, don't stick your arms out of there because uh, as you can see, it can be a bit dangerous right there. Hello, bye. Namaste. You're from Kathmandu? I am, I'm in India. India? Yeah. Ah, what's your Hey. Munab. Munab, nice to meet you Munab. How, how long in uh, Nepal? Nepal uh, is work. For work? Oh, so, oh, okay. How long are you here? How many days are you here? Or years? Oh, one year. Hindi only. Oh, Hindi only. Hindi only. Oh, okay. Kaise ho? Bohot acha? Acha? Perfect, brother. Since it's every like two blocks or so, our guy is uh, yelling, maybe three or four blocks, he's yelling out there to uh, pick up people. And I'm just gonna kind of watch the GPS and figure out when I get close enough to Tamil to uh, hop off the bus and then keep cruising by foot.
like this commercial right outside of the uh, motorcycle place. We got the speakers blaring. Oh, we've even got the sound of motorcycles playing. That'll get me convinced to buy one of those bikes. Seems like we're stuck in a bit of traffic jam here. I'd say the bus uh, right now is going just slightly faster than uh, as I was walking. It's super fast. All right, we're picking up more people here. Payment outside of the bus. A lot going on at once. Change is given and then bus is still kind of slowly moving through traffic. Oh, this must be a pretty common spot to pick people up. Because he's pretty much walking the entire uh, passageway of it. Well, the police officer's telling him keep going, keep going, I think. And I'm thinking he's going to get a nice uh, bus pound reel. Alright, you hear that? The boom boom. That's the pound letting him know he's here. Let's see if he's gonna find any more customers. Well, the police are like, all right, let's get, get going. Oh, the bus is going. The bus is going. Yeah, this looks like a very busy spot because you can just see all the people have been lined up this entire time we were driving. And just a lot of whistle blowing, a lot of stuff going on all at once. Well, it's a pretty clear process uh, if you speak the local language. I just basically got lucky that I hopped on the right bus. It will, we'll even see if it's the right bus. I just checked the uh, GPS here, and we've got about walking distance 52 minutes away. So we're about 30 minutes walking closer and about a 20 minute drive from here to uh, Tamil. And yeah, he gets good exercise though, just hopping in and off, kind of walking up along with the bus the whole way. This guy over here must be working for the other bus right there. Because uh, anyone with the uh, the stash of cash in their hands usually... Uh, oh, he littered. That's not good. Yeah, our guy's going this way. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, oh. How did he fit that through? Jeez, look at how tight that is. So, so tight. From Tamo. Tamil. Yeah. It's still far, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we are near, uh, we're near Chop Hill. But to get to Tamil, it's going to be a lot further to go. Oh well, we'll just stay on this bus and see where it takes us. I'm in no rush. Nope, he gave him, he gave him the double knock. That means time to keep moving. This must be like bus central, just like right in front of me. One, two, three, four, five. Six buses surrounding us. Seven, eight, nine, coming up that way. So a lot of them all over here. Friday afternoon though, some serious traffic though. It is debatable whether off going by foot is actually faster at the moment. Basically I'm right here, so I think I'm gonna follow this street all the way down if the bus keeps going down here and hop off there. And then if there's another bus from there going down this, I'll hop on, otherwise, Otherwise, I'll probably either walk or take a taxi. By then, it'll be much closer. We're about 52 minutes walking. It's like this guy right up here is actually engraving things in stone. Wow. That's incredible. Requires extra detail. The nice part about taking the bus is you get to see like a lot of the city. Maybe not in the most like efficient route to get to your destination, but you know, you just get to go and see some more of the local life here. Well, looks like we're going away from the uh, projected place that I was thinking we were gonna go to. And maybe we'll get off right up there in Dumbari. Uh, so it gives the uh, bus a nice punch as soon as uh, someone's about to hop on. The bus was slowly moving and these people were hopping on and then he smacked it and that's how the uh, driver knew, slow down, someone's getting on. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't know the uh, difference between like the punch to the side of the bus or if you hit something, so, or you get used to the sound maybe. Oh, 
Looks like we're getting some passengers here. But the guy didn't hop out. It seems like a lot of people pay or sometimes pay when they get on and then also people are paying when they get off. So maybe he was telling me when I first got on to pay when I get off, but uh, I didn't understand him so he just took the payment then. Looks like we uh, missed the stop then. Well, I guess we'll probably just get off at uh, this bus stop. Sukhad Hara bus stop, let's try it out. Oh. Here's good. All right, the bus is filling up once we get to this side. Daniyavad bye. Daniyavad bye. All right, we got our first uh, local bus ride and I took it to the complete wrong side of the uh, area. Now, I have no clue where we're at, but might be time to uh, take a taxi or maybe another bus. We shall see. Goodbye to our bus. Goodbye. See you, brother. Mm. I love riding uh, local transportation because you get uh, such a nice uh, feeling on what it's like to uh, to uh, take the local transportation, how it works and everything. Even if you have no idea where you're gonna end up. But now we have mountain views guys, so I can't complain there. I'm pretty happy to see that. And I guess we'll see what's going on up here. This part of town, we'll have to check the maps, see where we ended up. Maybe flag down a taxi if we see one. So far I haven't seen too many driving by at this point. I'll see, look at, we're, we're already catching up to our bus we were just on. And there they go. Until next time. That's proof, guys. I'm going almost as fast as the bus <laughs> on a busy Friday afternoon. So probably we need to figure out how to get to the other side and maybe take a taxi from there. Or we'll keep going up this way. Guys, at this point, I'm walking down the road here. We're gonna end up going to a Shanka Park. Namaste. Namaste. We're gonna end up going to a Shanka Park. I don't know. It's got 609 four-star reviews, so might be a nice little stop while we're in the area. I mean, like I said on the bus, I'm in no rush to get to Tamil. I just figured I'd hop on and uh, see if we can get there. But I actually did the opposite. I think I'm now further than I was before. <laughs> When I, when I was at Stupa, I think I was like an hour and 20 minutes walking. Now I'm like an hour and 40, so taxi will be the way back. But uh, for now, for now it'll be park time. All right, let's see if we can cross this thing without getting run over. We got bikes coming this way. Mopeds, cars, bicycles, holy moly. And we've got some digging going on right down here. Must be some sort of irrigation line digging right here. Oh no, it looks like they got some pipes. Maybe building a bit of a canal. Yeah. Namaste, see you. Oh, someone's orange peel just popped out. I'm thinking this must be like some other uh, nice part of town to stay in because there's a pretty large hotel right here, the Akama Hotel. I mean, Kathmandu is a pretty spread out city here. So, I mean, I've already walked so many areas of it just in like 26 hours that I've been here. And uh, still like you, you realize that like when you're walking through these places, you're like, there's so much to see and it's going to take me a while to get through everything. But we're going to explore as much of Kathmandu as we can. That's for sure. We're probably getting closer to the park. I would guess maybe a little bit further. Gotta get myself a bicycle to go cruising to get there a little quicker. I'm thinking this must be the uh, park over here. Maybe we can get ourselves a, uh, a nice water. 
Hello, uh, can I buy uh, water? 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 How much? 40? Daniavad, thank you. Oh. Another change? Uh, thank you so much, Daniavad. Oh, we got more bird seed for sale right there. The big packs. And a nice cold water. This will be a nice spot to uh, take a little relaxation in the park. Mm -hmm. It's as usual, guys. Got to check the seal, make sure it's not uh, local water. Oh yeah, I think the seal broke. Tastes good. Well, that is nice. Ah, oh, we got the local dogs coming for a little stroll. It seems like people are just kind of hanging out here in the sun, relaxing, enjoying. Namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice here, right at sunset time, Friday afternoon. Place starts to fill up, and uh, looks like they've got some ponds right, right there as well. Flowers. I've noticed the landscaping in Nepal is very nice. You know, in the parks, they obviously like the grass is a little walked on because probably so many people come and sit here. But other than that, like nice landscaping, flowers everywhere. Really feels like fall here. I'll tell you that. You have like the. Uh, you can look around. You can see the trees are starting to lose their leaves. And uh, I bet probably here in September must just be glowing in colors before all the leaves start falling. And uh, yeah, namaste. Namaste. Um, yeah, this is a vibey little park. I can see why people come and hang out and relax here. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed in the first uh, 26 hours since I've been here, Nepal does a pretty nice job on keeping things clean. You know, you have these young boys over here cleaning up all the litter. It's unfortunate that people are leaving so much litter because obviously it's putting these guys to work. But I mean, you look at the park and uh, uh, thanks to these boys down there, it's uh, very clean around here. Looks like over here, we've even got a little outdoor gym. Can do some pull-ups right there. Probably a bit out of shape to do them, but uh, Seems like on this side there's a lot of machines to stay active in the park. Some swings and uh, seems like it's a mix between young middle-aged people cruising around here. Pretty much relaxing. I think we found a, a nice spot to rest the legs right at this bench right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is nice. Much needed, my friends. I'm gonna take a few minute break here and then figure out what's next. Oh, it's just so quaint, I will say. Like, when you're just sitting here in the park, and, like you feel really safe in Nepal, you feel relaxed. And uh, you know, locals are welcome. You can say hi to everyone and everyone will say it back. Namaste, my friend. Everyone you talk to is going to be nice, give you a nice uh, wave, and uh, yeah, Nepal, I'm loving you so far. That was a nice little cruise through the park, relaxing to uh, catch the breath, and now we're going to keep going and exploring, guys. Let's get back out to the highway, or the road. All right, and we're back on the road. Now we got to see if we can find ourselves a taxi around here. Not too many. There must not be that many people that take taxis in this area. Because in other areas of uh, Kathmandu, I've seen I've seen a uh, lot of taxis that are just kind of... Oh, speaking of, I was going to say just kind of roaming around. But it looks like this taxi might already be taken. Hello, brother. Nope. People in there. And we are in luck. There's a taxi stand right up there. Let's head on over. Seems like there's like four or five, so we'll have to see what the prices are going to be. Let's see if we can uh, find someone who will take us. I think you have taxis over here. <laughs> Namaste. Kitna uh, uh, to go to uh, Tamil. How much? 
What's your good name? Yeah, Sabine. Sabine, nice to meet you, Sabine. <sighs> oh. Alright, we've got the uh, uh, custom steering wheel cover, yeah? You're from Kathmandu? Kathmandu, yeah, Chapal Karna, yeah? Please? Oh, yes, please. Alright. So we've got the baggage handling vest on there, very nice. Yeah, this. Uh, hmm? Okay. Oh, sit up front? Oh, perfect, brother. Even better. Yeah. Oh, guys, we're going up front. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. Let's see if this chair goes back at all. Oh, oh. you know, go back. Oh, there we go. So that's the special trick. Seat belts for safety. All right. Oh. And we'll roll this thing down. All right, full speed ahead then. Now, what is uh, good food to try in Nepal? <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, food? Food here is good? Yeah. Yeah, what type? Momo good? Other food? Wonder wonderful. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we tried. No problem, brother. So we're going to be cruising this way back to uh, Tamo. We're going to see a different side of the city there because I haven't been down on these roads. Uh, no supermarket. Supermarket, no. Uh, near Tamil? Oh, that's a big supermarket. This is a supermarket? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they even got security watching the place. Oh, they've got a big KFC in there, too. Oh, oh. that's pretty nice. KFC is good? Yeah. Yeah, very good. So we're getting a little tour around this place. Yeah, they don't mess around when they have those big grocery stores. I mean, that was a full-on complex. Oh, they got the Baker's Den. I bet they've got some delicious sweets right over there. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, yeah, it's so peaceful cruising around here. Like it, there's not as many horns as you would expect and oh one thing that I realized that I haven't mentioned on camera is I'm surprised there's actually no tuk-tuks or auto rickshaws here in Nepal at least that I've seen in Kathmandu no tuk-tuk no rickshaw in Nepal rickshaw yeah rickshaw yeah oh okay I haven't seen any yet and you Kathmandu very nice city Nice to meet you. You know how I know we're getting close, guys? Because when I walked there, I walked all along this road for like an hour and 20 minutes. So I think we're probably like a three or four minute drive away from uh, Tamil. And then we will be back. And that's uh, transportation for you. There's Durbar Mall. Nice mall? Oh, okay. It looks nice. Uh, but we go to a uh, museum. Nice museum, yeah? Whoa. Yeah, it looks nice over there, guys. It's like a big pink building area right over there in the distance. All right, so we must have walked right past this then and didn't even realize it was the mall. But it's one, two, three, four, five. It looks like a five level mall right there. And it looks like we are arriving right into Tamil. I've got some beautiful uh, blankets right there on the walls. That is nice. Oh, some really, really nice designs there. Almost looks like a kaleidoscope. Very, very nice. Very nice. And we got a north face there too. Oh, wow. Souvenirs and everything. I feel like every time, well, it's like my third time passing this area since I arrived. I'm noticing some new stuff. Lots and lots to check out. Oh, that's where we had breakfast before. 
perfect. This will do. Alright, we got, uh, I think that's a 500 bill right there, yeah? 500? Donny Avad. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Alright. See you later, brother. Thank you so much. Donny Avad. Alright, we are back in Tamil. Namaste. Oh, it feels great to be back. And the weather's starting to cool down. It's almost time to put on the uh, jumper again. I've noticed a lot of North Faces here. I wonder if they're real North Faces or if they're uh, copies. We'll have to stop in one at some point and check. Looks like we've got uh, some Nepalese hats in here. <laughs> namaste, bye. Yeah, namaste. Hello. Hey. Namaste, bye. Oh, we've got some nice hats here, yeah? Best prices in town? Uh -huh, all, right. all right, all right. Well, I'm going to need something that's uh, that uh, that has Nepal on it. What do you think is going to be a good one? Maybe like this one? Similar similar to this one? Oh, yeah, let's let's try that one out. Let's see, let's see if it fits. I got a pretty big head, as you can see. You can try it. Oh, yeah, we might need to resize that one. Okay, let's try that out. How do we do this one? Uh, can I? Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Where are you I'm from uh, US. Where are you from? Kathmandu? I'm from Nepal, yeah. Nepal. <laughs> Very nice country. Kathmandu? Yeah. Uh, not actual Kathmandu. I will be a little bit uh, out of Kathmandu. Oh, okay. Very nice. A outside. Yeah, it's a beautiful but place. I live here. Oh, you live here now? Oh, because, okay. uh, and you, Kathmandu? I'm working uh, oh. with the tourism. I'm above in tourism. Oh, okay. How oh. much long? Oh, let's try that one. Oh, yeah, it might even be too okay? big there. Oh, yes. Namaste. What do you think? Yeah, it's a good one. You think this one's better or the uh, the one up there? This one round hat? Yeah. With this Nepali flag? That one's good for trekking, yeah? Please try, try. Let's you can it. try it, please. Yeah? yeah, let's see which, yeah. One, which one fits better. Yeah, yeah. Just look. If it is sunny or something like that, you can use this, yeah? This is okay. Because you can... Oh, but it doesn't get any bigger? Oof. That's a little tight. <laughs> That's a little tight. Yeah. Little tight, eh? Yeah. Why well, you are not too tight, right? I feel like it's so. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's. Oh, that's a bigger one. Uh, uh, you need that with the with this flag one. Oh yeah, yeah I like the flag. The flag looks really nice. Uh, but that's uh, that's okay. No, I wanted the black. How much for uh, this one, buy? You can make six hundred rupee. Oh, six hundred. The guy down the street was offering four hundred. Where? Uh, right down the road. <laughs> you are my brother, so I can give you like a hundred rupee less. Okay, five hundred. Finish. Last price. One hat. What? What we on? Yeah, you, you just uh, calculate. Yeah. Do we, have, rupee. do we have one that? Uh... We have this another one as well. Yeah. You hey, can do we have another one it. that uh, maybe doesn't have the strings? Well, I'll go. I'll go to Kalamata. This this one. Who do? Oh no, I think, I think black's gonna be better. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you could buy it, but uh, it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened here? It's okay. Oh, we've just got the. Uh, I took out. Just some strings there, but uh, we'll, we'll do 400. 400. What charge am I out you? Nah, no, four, four fifty. Right, four hundred final. If you get, if you got one without the strings you are, missing, you are not coming up. You should, you should come up little bit fifty rupee more, please. Then it's perfect for you. That's mm. cap for you. Yeah, but I'm, if you if you can give me one without any strings hanging from it, then we got a deal for four fifty. If you choose another color, then definitely I have uh, because I ordered that. They are not bringing till now, so it takes a long time. Huh? All right, fair enough. Four fifty, got a deal, brother. Yeah, please. Can you hold that for one second, please? I'm, I'm, yeah, it. Uh, I'm making video. Mm, uh, always, uh, always, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> always, always around Nepal. All around mm. Nepal. Ah, you've been both or not, same or not, yeah. both or oh. not. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We went to uh, to I the. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. We uh, went. I'm also guide. Huh? We went over to uh, the beautiful <laughs> stupa. Really very nice. nice, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have changed there. Yeah. How much? How much? Where is your change? Oh, thank you. 
That's your own. <laughs> All right. I'd say we're looking good. Yeah, yeah, that one's mine. I'm not, I'm not paying for this one again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Good fit then, yeah? Yes, sir. All right. There we go. We got the 550 change. Daniyavad, thank you so much. Happy welcome in Nepal. Thank you so much. Bye Namaste, bye. my friend. Time. Goodbye. See you next time. See you next time. All right, guys, you're looking at a uh, new Nepalese hat right here. It's looking pretty fresh, if you ask you me. And we paid 450, so 450, it's just about three bucks for the hat. And, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a nice fit. Daniyavad, bye. Yeah, so it's gonna be given competition to this one, because my old hat, as you can see, it's, uh, let's put it this way, it's traveled with me quite a bit, and uh, needed something new to uh, add to the hat collection. And I'd say it's a pretty good fit. Would be nice if it was rounder, but uh, for the price we got it for, I'm quite happy with it. Oh, it's pretty sweet to see all the things that you can do here. We've got helicopters, loop left flight, bungee jump, rafting, ultralight, Hokaro. Oh, we're going to be doing a lot of this. I really want to do the Chidwan Safari. That's going to be a nice one to do. Wow. Trekking the right way up in the mountains. That'll be for the next time I come here. Look at that bungee jumping. That looks insane. Oh yeah, you best believe, guys. We're gonna be doing some pretty adventurous stuff in the coming, uh, geez, probably 20, 30 more videos here. 20 videos more. Oh, would you look at that, guys. If I would've kept walking, I could've gotten the one with Kathmandu right there. Uh-huh. Hello. Namaste, my friends. I should've bought from you guys because this one has Kathmandu. See, mine uh, has no Kathmandu. How much you paid? I paid 450. Yeah, good price. Good price? How much do you sell yours for? Same price. Same price, alright. That one is nice. Daniavad bye. Thank you. Oh, this one's still a good one, but having the Katmandu on there would have been pretty awesome. What do we got down here? Looks like a hat market. And some bracelets. Yeah. And maybe like a small little food court right in here as well. The Triangle Times. So it's kind of like a lounge over here. Uh huh. We got milkshakes, all types of stuff. Hello. Hello, namaste. Namaste. Uh, what types of uh, drinks do you have here? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Any uh, Nepalese uh, style? Gorka, oh, Okay, beer, beer, all right. What about the lassies here? Do you have lassies? Sorry. Lassie? Lassie? Yeah. Yeah. You do? Oh, perfect. Maybe I'll try one. Yeah. Yeah. Banana lassie. Uh, do you have strawberry? Strawberry lassie? Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sit anywhere? Yeah. Okay. Even upstairs? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's test it out. Let's go see what it looks like up here. A little staircase up to a special little entryway. And there's a stage here too, so. People can perform. Oh, wow. Whoa, these are like tires. I was like, these feel odd to walk on. Look at that. These are tires that are laid out for grip and it's nice because then you can walk and uh, it's easy to step on. We've got the whole lounge to ourselves right up here. This is cool. And then they have like photos right there, moments at Triangle, the whole menu there. So I think people come here and uh, drink and chill and, and they probably have music at some point because it is a friday night oh yeah nice little futon well, hello my friends namaste from up here Anivad, thank you very much oh the lassie has arrived mm -mm -mm, that looks tasty let's test it out so i've had lassies in india but i've never actually had one in nepal yet obviously since i just got here oh that strawberry one is refreshing. It's like, uh, it almost tastes like... Like when I was a kid, I had these like uh, Danimals and they were like these uh, small little yogurt, like liquid yogurt that you could buy at the supermarket. And uh, it was, it tastes just like that. Reminds me of it. so so good guys the strawberry in there it's a really smooth mix in there you can taste that it's like uh, probably uh, blended up with 
ice and so you have small little ice in there keeping it like ice cold it's so cold on my fingers right now i can barely even hold it that's why i'm holding it with like one finger and just my thumb oh so so good though i like this lassie a lot strawberry is usually my go-to and they even designed the second straw to go around it i wonder if you can drink out of this one too Mhm. Mm oh yeah it's still functional even twist it around it yeah, let's go ahead and finish this thing off in one gulp. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's spilling out the side there. Got a piece of ice stuck in the straw. Oh, so, so refreshing. Longer than I expected. Had a couple of pieces of ice jamming it up. But mm, we have finished that. So, so good. Finish that one, bring it on down. Mm. Very delicious. Danivad, uh, how much? Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah guys, $3.25 for a delicious Lassie that comes out to like just about $2.50. Very nice, thank you so much. This is your shop? This is your shop? Your, your, you own? <laughs> no? Oh, okay. uh, thank you so much. Thank you for tip. Thank you very much. Dani Avad. All right, guys, we are gonna be heading back now. And I think that's where we're gonna conclude today's video. A nice little uh, cruise on the local transportation and then got a couple items here. As you can see, the new Nepalese hat. And that's where we're gonna end it. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, keep a lookout because we're gonna have so many more videos coming over the next couple weeks on this channel. So we will see you then.